Welcome to the North Tahoe High School Navion Student Tutorial Series. Hello, this is Jeff Freem, one of the school counselors here at North Tahoe High School. I'm here to show you an updated version of how to order your transcripts via Navion Student. Navion Student is the recently released, as of this recording, version of the Navion's Family Connection Suite. This is the new way that students and parents will access their Naviance account. The vast majority of the features within the Naviance student have remained the same. However, there have been some graphical and usability updates that I, for one, appreciate within the Naviance suite of software. Ordering transcripts typically happens in most people's senior year. So we're demoing a senior student here. There are a couple ways to add transcript requests and a couple different versions of transcript requests to be aware of. So I'm going to show you a few ways to make that happen. The first and most e most simple way of requesting your transcript actually happens when you have your college list updated for all the college applications that you've submitted or are going to submit for the year. The easiest way to get to that list is in one of two places. The first one is right here on the home page where my mouse is, where it says colleges I'm applying to. The other place is up here under colleges. If you click this, there are a couple different lists you can do and you can click on colleges I'm applying to. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. On this list, what you'll see is the list of schools that you've applied to, okay? You can also select at the end of the process, the college that you'll be attending. Once again, here at North Tall High School, we do things a very specific way. We'll actually take care of this with you at your senior checkouts in June. Um, but in order to order transcripts, there's a couple things that you should likely be uh, knowing how to do. Okay, number one is knowing how you're gonna send your transcript. Okay, to request transcripts, those schools have to be on your college application list. So we wanna make sure that you get those on there. Uh, you don't wanna go send any transcripts to schools that are not expecting it or asking for it. So please do also check the requirements and that you're sending things that are requested of you. But to check how things are being sent, you're gonna click on this unknown button and it's going to say, have you applied? And it's gonna say how you're applying Okay, so if I want to say, yes, I've applied, I've submitted my application, this is on the update page. So we can go over specific deadlines if you want to su submit specific deadlines, and then we can just scroll down and hit update. We should see a little bit different. It'll say submitted. Okay, the next thing is submission. It's going to have the little icon. It's also going to have a little description right below that. The blue computer icon is the electronic submission. So those uh, institutions are part of the eDocs or parchment service. We can send electronic transcripts uh, directly to the institution. So this is typically the most simple and uh, time-saving way to request your transcripts. There's nothing that has to be mailed or anything else. So if that's possible, I highly suggest doing that. If you at, are at North Tower High School and do this, it is also free to request your high school transcripts that way. There are a few other ones that I'll try to show you here in a demonstration. The, the other one is going to be the Common App. Okay, so if we look down to uh, USD, they're on the Common App. So you see there is a, com a computer icon with the CA and a, a denotion that says they're a Common App school. Here at North Tower High School, we do not use the, currently do not use the Common App uh, Naviance integration. So students who would be requesting Common Application documents would be going through their Common Application portal. So that would not actually be requested through here in Naviance. Primarily, here at North Tower High School as of this year and potentially next year, the two cents is going to be if you are ordering transcripts via Naviance, they have to be electronically sent transcripts. Once again, Common App goes through the Common App. And then in just a second, I'll show you an example of a school that only accepts mail documents. And I'll tell you a little bit about how to use parchment. Okay, but in order to order these uh, transcripts, say to San Diego State, what we can do is we go up here, we've determined that it's an electronic transcript, and we can either click on a button and say, we wanna to send to this school. And then up here where my mouse is, there's a button that says, with an addition sign, request transcripts. You're gonna click that. And it's gonna ask you a couple questions. Number one is gonna ask you, what type of transcript are you requesting? There are typically three options that you'll see. Two only available within the CSU system, but you might also see an additional one called mid-year. Initial and final are the two co most common ones that you'll see. Initial is going to be typically a transcript that you're sending at the beginning of your transcript process or college application process. But again, only if schools are actually requesting it. This is usually something that happens maybe before your first set of senior grades come out. Mid-year 
is often sent kind of after the midpoint in your high school uh, senior year, uh, usually with some grades attached that are updated from your fall or semester or quarter uh, grading periods. The final transcript uh, sometimes causes some, some confusion. That's gonna be sent after graduation. Okay, so this is gonna be something that's sent typically and almost I would say 99% of the time to only one school that you'll be attending. So you're not gonna send the final transcript to every school that you've applied to. You'll send it to the school that you've um, basically placed a deposit at that you will be attending. Occasionally, say for example, if you might be on a wait list, there might be two schools that need a final transcript, but typically it's only one. In addition, the common application when you're ordering transcripts, they will only let you send one. So you really do need to wait and see about that. So make sure that you know your final transcript here at North High School. We also build that in a, into a part of our process. We will actually go through this with senior checkout. We will update all of your college applications, all of the results from your college applications, and ensure that all of your transcripts are ordered correctly. So we will actually sit down and do that with you. We're going to order an initial transcript here. You'll see the schools that you want to apply or send those to. We'll just use San Diego State. If you need to remove any schools, for example, you can just use the X without starting the whole process over and just select request and finish. At that point, what you'll see is a confirmation at the top. And then you'll also see uh, office materials are pending. Once again, use that office materials link with a, with a grain of salt, primarily because um, all the CSU applications will show here okay, as initial materials submitted. To check on your status of transcripts, you can also click on that manage transcript button at the top of that page. And you'll see a confirmation number, the date that that transcript request re was requested, and then if that transcript has been mailed. If you need some assurance or if you're concerned that the school has not received your transcript and it was sent electronically through Naviance, uh, contact your counselor because once it's sent, we can actually look up a confirmation number that will let us check on the status. It might tell us that the college has received it but not downloaded it yet, which means it's likely not updated in your student portal, um, or they received it and downloaded it. So if there's ever any issue with transcripts being sent or received, um, definitely reach out. It's better to ask and know than to uh, not know and kind of make a mistake in that process. And we can actually check that through our parchment page. So do, do re reach out with that. And then finally, uh, if we want to add schools to your college list, I just want to show you how to do that. There's a couple ways to make that happen. Okay, you can uh, search for a school here. So we might try East Bay here, and we'll, what we'll see is CSU East Bay pops up. Okay, we can check that box, and it's going to say Save Selection. And we're going to say Finish Searching. And what that's going to do, if we can add that checked college to the colleges I'm thinking about. It's kind of a two-step process. The colleges I'm thinking about is your research list. Once you've decided to apply there, you actually need to actually go in and select that college and say move to application list here. Okay. It also shows you here quickly what delivery type is available. So this is this is Stanford. This is another example. This is a common application, but that student has decided to apply, say, through an institutional app um, versus the common application if that's an option. So it, it'll tell you this way how that's going to be sent. So it's electronic but not common app. Click move to application list. It's going to ask you a few questions. Have you submitted your application? Which deadline are you filling out? Um, and that you've already sent it in. And just hit add applications. And then you can come back into this page and again request elect, or request your transcripts if, again, it is submitted electronically, which East Bay is, and go through that same request process. Hope that was helpful as we transition to this Naviance student portal versus the Naviance Family Connection account. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your school counselor. Thank you.